Hello there and welcome back to this video series on control systems. In the previous couple of videos we have seen a translatory mechanical system with spring mass damper and the transfer function of such a system is derived. In this video we will try to see torsional spring, inertia and torsional damper system and write equations for uh, the same and derive the transfer function. This is a very short video. We will present schematic and then nomenclature used along with the units, present the transfer function and uh, complete this video. The schematic of the torsional system we consider is shown here. This uh, cylinder, um, thick cylinder is the inertia with uh, indicated with symbol J and having units kg meter square. This long shaft which is fixed at one end and connected to the inertia, it is uh, represented by torsional spring Kt with the units Newton meter per radian where radian is the unit for angular displacement theta. Okay, And we have torsional damping coefficient Newton meter per radians uh, per second indicated by the symbol B of T. We may observe here that wherever there is force in the linear system you have torque. Wherever there is angular uh, linear displacement in the case of translational systems you have angular displacement represented by theta. Wherever there is mass you have mass moment of inertia J with units kg m square. And spring stiffness uh, in the case of linear that is translational system is newtons per meter. In the case of torsional systems you have units torque per unit twist that is newton meter is the torque and angular displacement is in radians. Similarly torsional damping you have newton meters torque and angular velocity radians per second newton meter divided by radians per second. For such a system we can write the physical equation as the torque applied that is this T must be equal to inertia torque that is J multiplied by angular acceleration then damping torque that is B multiplied by angular velocity plus spring torque K multiplied by theta. We are using this subscript kt and bt to indicate that we are dealing with torsional systems. If you assume that t within brackets s is the Laplace transform of the torque as a time function, this capital theta of s as the Laplace transform of theta, we can take the Laplace transform of this whole equation on both sides, assuming zero initial conditions to get T of S is J S square because we know each derivative stands for one multiplication by S J S square. Here we have one derivative so B T S and K T theta. So you can arrange the terms appropriately and write theta S by T S. Theta is the output, T S the input is 1 over J S square plus B T S plus K T. You can at once see that this transfer function has the same form as that of linear spring mass damper system. The change is that units of the quantities are different. So the units of this transfer function also change. You have radians per Newton meter. That will be the uh, unit of this transfer function. With that we may summarize whatever we have seen. Transfer function of a torsional system may be derived much the same way as we derived for a translational system except that units of the quantities are different. Wherever you see force in translational system you have torque with units Newton meter. Wherever you see linear displacement you see angular displacement theta with radians per second and wherever you see mass you have mass moment of inertia with units kg m square. In the case of a spring, you have Newton meter per radian is the unit and in the case of damper, Newton meter 
per radians per second. That's all we have for today. Have a great day.